Our Old Testament reading is taken from Exodus 20, verses 1 to 17. That's on page 58 in your pew Bibles, if you'd like to follow along. Exodus 20, verses 1 to 17. Then God spoke all these words. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol, whether in the form of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or worship them, for I am a Lord your God and a jealous God, punishing children for the iniquity of parents to the third and the fourth generation of those who reject me, but showing steadfast love to the thousandth generation of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not make wrongful use of the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not acquit anyone who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Six days shall you labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath to the Lord your God. You shall not do any work. You, your son or your daughter, your male or female slave, your livestock or the alien resident in, your, resident in your towns. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the, ski, the sky and the sea and all that is in them, but he rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and consecrated it. Honor your mother and your father so that your way, your days, may be long in the land of the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not cover, covet your neighbor's house, and you shall not covet your neighbor's wife or male or female slave, or ox, or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. This is the word of the Lord. Our responsive reading is taken from Psalm 19. This is a continuation of our call to worship. Psalm 19, and we will begin at um, verse... Four, seven, seven to fourteen. Psalm 19, verse seven to fourteen. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are sure, making wise the simple. The fear of the Lord is pure, enjoying, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. Moreover, by them is your servant warned. In keeping them, there is great reward. But who can detect their errors? Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer.
New Testament lesson, <coughs> excuse me, is taken from Titus chapter 2, and that's up on page 969. Page 969 in your pew Bibles, Titus 2, and we'll be reading verses 11 to 14. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age, to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. This too is the word of the Lord. <clears throat> 